everyone, Ms. Tui here. Ozobot is fascinated by how organisms grow and change since it's not a living thing. In today's lesson, you will create two different diagrams to show two different life cycles. Then you will program your bot to travel through the stages of those life cycles. For today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot fully charged and calibrated, color code markers, a pencil, both pages of your life cycles activity sheets, and a color code chart. In today's lesson, you will use drawings and labels to show the stages of two different life cycles. You will use color codes to program your bot to demonstrate the two different life cycles, and you will compare and contrast the two different life cycles in a Venn diagram. All living things or organisms have a life cycle. A life cycle is a series of stages an organism goes through during its life. All organisms begin their life as an egg, seed, or baby. Then organisms grow and change. Some insects and amphibians go through big changes during their life cycles to change forms completely in a process called metamorphosis. To begin, you need to decide which two life cycles you are going to show and tell others about. You may choose plants, birds, mammals, amphibians, or insects. You may choose two organisms from the same group, like a chicken and an owl, or two organisms from different groups, like an apple tree and a butterfly. On the life cycles map, you will write the names of two different organisms you choose. I am going to show and tell about the life cycle of a frog and the life cycle of a butterfly. I wrote frog on the line below the diagram on the left and butterfly below the diagram on the right. Here are some different organisms to give you ideas. Can you write the names of the organisms you will show and tell the life cycles of on your life cycles map? Now that you have chosen the organisms or living things your diagrams will be about, you will use pencil only to add drawings and labels to show the different stages of the life cycles. You will use pencil only so that your bot doesn't get confused about which lines to follow. There are dotted lines that make up the four parts in the middle of each diagram to show the four different stages. If you only need three stages, you can combine two sections. If you need more than four stages, you can add additional dotted lines. I will use my pencil to draw and label pictures to show the four different stages of a frog's life cycle and a butterfly's life cycle. Your turn to get artistic. Can you use your pencil to draw and label a picture to show each stage in the life cycles of the organisms you chose? After your diagram has pictures and labels, you are ready for your color code markers. You will use color codes to program your bot to demonstrate the different stages in each life cycle. You may want to use your color code chart. Let's look at my first diagram, the life cycle of a frog. The life cycle of a frog begins as an egg, so I will choose to program my bot using the spin code to demonstrate the egg hatching. Since a tadpole comes out of the egg, I will choose to program my bot to move like it's swimming using a backwalk code. Then to show the tadpole growing legs and learning to walk as a froglet, I will choose the zigzag code. Finally, I will program my bot to stop and go using the pause code to make my bot look like it is hopping like an adult frog. Your turn to get creative. Can you use your color code markers and the color code chart to program your bot to move differently at each life cycle stage for both organisms?
Ozobot is so excited to demonstrate the life cycles. You will put your bot on start of your first diagram and watch as it completes the sequence or order of the life cycle for your first organism. Let's watch my bot in action as it demonstrates the life cycle of a frog. Then you will put your bot on the start of your second diagram and watch as it completes the sequence or order of life cycle for your second organism. I'm now going to put my bot on my second diagram to watch as it demonstrates the life cycle of a butterfly. Can you put your bot on start of your first diagram to see if it demonstrates the life cycle? Then put your bot on start of the second diagram to see it complete the other life cycle. Ozobot had so much fun going through the different life cycles. Now you will use a Venn diagram on the life cycles activity sheet to compare and contrast the two life cycles you showed. On the lines above each circle, you will write the names of the organisms you chose. On my sheet, the circle on the left is labeled frog and the one on the right is labeled butterfly. Below the circles is another line to label the middle part, both. Now I will write the differences between the two life cycles in the parts labeled frog and butterfly. Then I will write the similarities of the two life cycles in the part labeled both. Can you label the parts of your Venn diagram and write three to five differences and three to five similarities of the two life cycles you chose? Remember to check your work before you share it with others. Your map should have labels that tell the names of the organisms you chose, drawings and labels to show each stage in the life cycles, different color codes for each stage in the life cycles that complete the pathway. Your Venn diagram should have labels that tell the names of the organisms you chose, three to five differences between the life cycles, three to five similarities of the life cycles, and your work should show how Ozobot demonstrates the different stages in the life cycles in the correct sequence. Come back again soon for our next lesson.